Welcome roof campers and role players alike. My name's Gal. You found the Rust Power Minute, where I have 60 seconds to educate you on everything you need to know about a given Rust component. I know I promised the splitter was up next. Don't worry, I'll get to him. But I figured there's a proper order things should go in, and that logically the root combiner was up next. So let's not muck about. You'll find these boys pretty often in regular crates, and sunken crates, if that's what you're into, and only 75 scrap to research. Handy little things, both for when your power supply is meager, and once you've expanded. The root combiner is as literal as it sounds combines two sources into one. Two sockets on the underside take power from any power source. Solar, turbine, generators. They can also take charge from a battery, but they will constantly drain the battery even if that power isn't being put to use. There's no need for it to be from just one source of power, you can mix and match. If the component you're connecting doesn't produce power itself, then it simply won't plug in. You can stack them up, but can only include 15 before they reach max depth. You'll find that 15 is more than reasonable, and that any circuit that goes beyond this is a bit beyond beginner level. It's a good idea to keep these lads indoors. They don't take much to break, and it's much more cost efficient for raiders just to pop it off the wall than to take out two windmills. And if just one of your power sources go down, well, at least the other one might keep going. Straightforward and simple, that one. I think most people could figure it out for themselves. If you're enjoying the content, like and subscribe. You might have noticed I didn't rip on your mum in this one. Some poor soul in the comments said he doesn't like it. And if the next video had a your mum joke in it, he'd unsubscribe. Maha, <laughs> see we do read the comments. And take your feedback on board. This one didn't include a your mum joke.